Hello everyone! So welcome to the Honey Bee Stamps Seasons Tweetings <laughs> release and review video. I think I have all the stamps and dies. I'm not sure about the embellishments and whatnot, but I always link to everything um, in the description box below the video as well as on my blog. So let's just kind of hop into it. I wanted to include these because I think they're adorable. You get these with your orders from Honey Bee Stamps. It's just a a little thank you cards. So many of the companies that I love to support and order from include little thank you cards. I like these because on the other side you can color these in. I think they're so cute. And I ended up getting actually a few extra were thrown in with this, so I'm gonna give a couple to my kids to let them just color. But I was thinking how cute these would be to like color and then actually add them to a little card. Like they're adorable. Just fun. So, okay. So, like I said, this is Seasons Tweetings. This is their kind of like holiday slash Christmas release and it's rather unique. So let's just dive right into it. I'll get to the embellishments at the end, like always. Um, we have this Adore Him um, sentiment stamp. I love the size of this. This is um, about two and three quarter inches by three and three quarter inches. So definitely big enough to kind of either take center stage on the front of your card or you could stamp that on the inside in just kind of lighter ink so you could still have space, you know, to write. But it just, I love big sentiments, you know, it just gives so many options. So we got that one. And then we have the Miracle of Christmas. So may the Miracle of Christmas fill your heart with joy and another decent size. This one is, again, almost three and three quarter inches wide by one and three quarter inches high. So still kind of a big enough, but not, you could still have like other images kind of be either on your card front or this would look perfect on the inside as well. You guys know, I gotta finish the inside of my cards. So we got those. And then we have the Merry Christmas sentiment set. Another kind of buildable set. On the smaller side, I like how it's got your Christmas and your holidays and your script font. And then you can do Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays. And then from our family to yours. And then we've got some fun little holly images. You have outline and solid. So you don't even really have to do any color. You can stamp solid, stamp the outline, or stamp the solid, stamp the outline, etc., and create fun little elements. And then of course, there is a coordinating die set, the Merry Christmas die set, which has the holidays and the Christmas um, font. They also have the bubbles. That's what I always call them. So you got the bubbles that you can either use to back these ones or you can use them to die cut out that. There's also the two bubbles to die cut merry and happy as well as the, um, the word. So it just gives you like, you could do either or. And then there's the little banner piece that will die cut the from our family to yours as well as all the little holly pieces. I really like that. Like a lot and the holly comes in two sizes the leaves are in two sizes and then the like the cluster of berries is in two sizes so you could layer those up too if you wanted so many options so many options you guys know me i'm a huge fan of the honeybee sentiments and the dyes and everything i just love so we have that and then there is the hill borders honeycut dyes what i really like about this is you've got your three different hill dyes that will cut and then the stitching is separate. So you can choose whether or not you want to use the stitching. So you could leave it attached and there would be a bit more of a gap than usual between you and almost stitching dies. It's kind of right near the cut line. So you could leave them attached and have the stitching a little further or you could use it either or, or you could use just the stitching to kind of create the look. So fun. I, lo I like just having extras like that. It kind of just gives you more. So we have that one, and then we have the Mountain Border Honeycuts die. Again, I love this one. It's not your typical Mountain Border. This would also work really well to just die cut and then use as a mask for sponging. So really fun. And then we're getting into the shape dies. They've got the Ornament Shaker tag. Super cute. This is, just for reference, it's about two and a half inches wide by just about two and three quarter inches high. 
So you've got your base and then your shaker frame that you can pop on top, back that with some masticate, and you can have an actual like fun shaker tag you can fill with all sorts of fun little goodies. And then you've got elements to, you know, add your little decorative topper, etc. So um, I think, I'm not 100% positive one of these pieces can like fold. I need to like cut this all apart and start die cutting and playing with it. So we've got that one. And then we've got this great big one, which is the ornament shaker card. Honeybee's been coming out with all these like card dies in different shapes, which I love. This one is huge. It's four, about four and an eighth inches wide by four and three quarters high just this base and then you've got your piece to create you can again create a full-on shaker card because you are a base or you could die cut this twice and actually just have a card um, an ornament shaped card and this will fit a still in a standard will it fit yeah in a standard a2 size envelope because it's four and a quarter a standard a2 envelope is like four and three eighths by like five and just over five and a half so this will fit so fun so much fun Love it. So we got that. And then this that I was so excited to see. <laughs> Blah hum bunny. I think one of the one of the first um, honeybee sets I got was the um, Blah Bunny set that I just still to this day love. I think it's hilarious. So I was so excited to see this release. I think it's so cute. I love how he's sitting there like, actually my youngest sits like this a lot lately. <laughs> when he's really tired or when he's really frustrated. I can kind of see my reflection in there. And then this one where he's just kind of sitting back and then you've got your little accessories you can dress him up with. And then, of course, all these fun little sentiments. Dear Santa, it wasn't me. I can explain, missing you, blah, ho, ho, no. <laughs> I'll have a blue Christmas without you. Like, oh, this is so cute. I love it. And then, coordinating die set of course and it will cut out all of the images as well as several of the sentiments it'll be oh yeah the font sentiment so humbug without you um hum, hum bunny yeah and missing you I think are the ones it will die cut so I like that it'll just kind of give it you could stamp that and then like heat emboss and then die cut these and pop them up you know Add to them sentiments. So we got that. And then we have the Merry and Bright um, stamp set. I really love this one. May your days be Merry and Bright. So just another good size. This one again has a coordinating die set, which I love. You have the Merry and the Bright and and in um, fonts. And then the bubbles. Oh, so I call them just bubbles, bubble dies, and then a little a little banner die that is perfect for this, but it would also be perfect for like a ton of other sentiments. I love little banner dies. Love, 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 love. So we've got that one. I just like the like really fine font of that. That'll look really pretty. So we got that, and then we have the two main kind of sentiment and die sets that are kind of obviously why this is called the season's tweetings release. Is that aren't they adorable? They're so cute. So we have Seasons Tweetings. So we got all these cute little fat birds. They're so cute. I love this one with the cookie. And this one. They're all just adorable. Oh my god. And a bunch of sentiments. So wishing you a joyous Christmas. Wishing you a joyous holiday season. Seasons Tweetings. Seasons Greetings. You know. All the sentiments. I love the little like music notes and everything. So yeah, super cute. This one's actually singing, so you know, you can have your little music notes. I love it. Coordinating die set. We'll die cut all the images, sentiments, even the little music notes. This is one of the big, this is a big stamp set. This is a six by eight inch stamp set, so it's a big one. And then there's another one. This is the Snowbirds set, which is also really adorable with all the fat little birds. It's also got a little snowman. I love this little fat one all bundled up. So cute, God. So we got that, and then whole bunch of sentiments. You know, friends warm my heart and warm in a. You got them in different fonts. Snow, much fun. Winter wishes. Tweet, tweet. Winter wishes. A bunch of cute little snowflakes. I love the snowflakes. Perfect for little backgrounds and whatnot. Love that. I love this one. So that this one's actually making a little snow angel. Oh, like 
so cute. Coordinating die set for all the images as well as like even the like snow here. I have so many ideas for this. And then little blob or bubble dies for a bunch of script words and the snowflakes and whatnot. So cute. So cute. I'm just, this is such a fun release. So there's that. And then like I said, I'm not sure. Usually they end up having like 10 times more embellishments released. Um, it just depends. But I've got three different ones here. There's these fun, these are the snowball shaker kits. Hear that? I'm not sure what these are made out of, but they really do look like little snowballs. I've never seen embellishments like this. I am very curious. They make me like they're almost like styrofoamy type material, but I'm not sure. They're so cool. I don't really, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, they're almost like, I don't know. They're cool. Really light though too, which is nice, but they do look, they look like snowballs. I think that's so much fun. So there's that. And there's really cool um, Snowdrift Confetti Vial, which I'm a little like about opening. Does it, oh, it unscrews. Well, that's nice. And then just also, these this will be really nice in shaker cards. I love because it actually does look kind of like snow. I like how white, white it is. This will be fun in shaker cards. So there's that. And then there's these gorgeous um, rainbow rhinestone mix. And there's like three, if not four different sizes. I think there's four different sizes in here. Really pretty. They have the silver back and then they're kind of like iridescent. And you get a ton, obviously. So yeah, that is the season's tweetings release. Like I said in the beginning, um, I'll have a link below to the full release. Um, Honeybee obviously will have this in stock and then Simon Says will be getting it in and Ellen Hudson, etc. Um, I'll put links as places get them in stock. I'll have individual links as well, just a link to the whole release that you can check out. So you can check that out below as well as on my blog. On my blog, it's picture links where it's a lot easier to see what on earth is going on. And of course, I'm going to have a video right away using some of these goodies and more coming. So always, always stay tuned. If you aren't already subscribed to my videos, there's a subscribe button right below, right about there. And when you're subscribed, once you subscribe, there's a little bell icon beside that. If you click on the bell icon, um, you will get notifications every time I post a new video. I've had a lot of people, you know, over the last several months saying like, oh, I didn't even realize like I've been missing all your videos and didn't know that you were still uploading. It's like, oh, I upload almost every single day. I've been uploading a lot the last few months. So if you click on the bell icon, you will get a little notification like it'll, um, every time I post new videos. So definitely do that. I would really appreciate it. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I will be back very soon with another video. Bye.